Hi guys. So I'm using the little the little ring light of it. So I don't like it. I can't even see myself. It looks like it's too dark, you know? To me. Guys, we have the whatever I have left of my nacho cheese that I've been eating for for about a week. Just a little bit. And then I have my tortillas. And I'm drinking coffee and donuts. No, just coffee. Coffee and donuts. And I have leftovers here. And I did it because all of this is still good. And I don't want to throw it away. But there's still some in the fridge. We have the sausage and peppers that I made. The rice. The mole from yesterday's church thingy. And my chicken and chile colorado that I made yesterday for church as well. Yes, ready? See you mommy. Yes. 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 Why do people always say that? Yes. Yes. I even write it down too when I post it on Facebook and stuff. I put, yes. Yes, yes. You know what? I'm going to put some of this nacho cheese on my sopita because that's how I've been eating it lately. And it's been bomb as fuck. I'm just going to put it all over. Fuck it. All over my weenies and my sausages. Sausages. So I was watching a real, I had an interview right now, a Zoom interview with a counselor of mine. And that went all right, I guess. And then after that, I uh, I started cook, was heating it up. I made some shorts, but my cartones are falling. And Julia's watching. Tell me. Sorry. Good girls. Good girls. A show called Good Girls. Where is this at? Netflix. It's called Good Girls and uh, it's about some three girls, right, Mama? We'll have some tostadas here because I'm gonna I got some tostadita. Because my mouth is watering, guys. Salivating. Salivating in my ass. Huh? Salivating in your cola. No, it's que When I was little, Every party, wedding, quinceañera, whatever, was always about mole, 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 holy mole, donut shop. And then for years, people stopped making mole for parties and stuff. But uh, fuck yeah, I'm glad you're gonna eat it because I didn't want to throw it away. There's a little bit of rice left, and my rice is bomb. So I'm having to hop around and on my left foot I walk on my like on my toes because of the cocoa I have. I'm like I was calentando tortillas and then I have to come and sit down. Because aparte me agarra, I get the stupid sciatica pain on my back and my on my buttocks and then the truths on my legs and then my back and blah, 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 blah. and it's getting worse and worse and worse. So I came and sat down, and I had already put in on my wig, and then Julia brought my plate and my plate of tortillas. I was like, oh, thank you, mama. I don't, I didn't like this, this little, oh, it's a heart, right? The little, like, and it's really cute or whatever, but the lights, like, don't favor me. Shall I say? Wash it there. See? That's like yellow. Evening, I guess. This is like a light blue. This one's bright, but it's kind of hurt my eyes a little. I don't know. I guess the blue one. I didn't know how to do my hair, guys. I'm tired of having my wigs and trying to eat and look pretty. And all my wigs, you know, they all in my hair. And my face, my hairs in my face, and in my mouth, and it's hard to eat and and stuff. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna buy a wig that has like I seen one there. I'm gone, and it's real pretty, and it's just got a part on the side, and it's just it's got a, a you know the liga right here, and it's just pretty. That way your hair is back away from your face. <laughs> and 
then, you know, as always, I feel a little bit of a, where is it? White chicks, white chicks. Do I feel a hair right here? There it is. I seen it now. And there's another one right here. Ah. My breakfast is still warm, but it's getting cold because I'm over here. But fighting with my fucking hairs. They're fucking each other. They're having sex and fight. Sex and some sex and fight up in there. Some sexy. So we had a lot of chicken there from the chicken that I made. I was just in a chile colorado and red chili sauce. And there's bomb, but I told the girls that I was gonna get up later and shred it. I don't do it another way today. But I can't get up with my foot the way it hurt you. But my friend's mom, uh, my friend's uh, mother in law. Or mole. Oh my god. It doesn't even taste like mole. She said she put a lot of chili color on it. It's just very yummy. The sister at church that was supposed to take the mole. She thinks she's got COVID. She's not going to know till today. So she didn't go to church and, and I said to my friend Rachel, don't worry girl, I'm making enough chicken and it's going to be yummy. And she calls me later and she says, guess what, my mother-in-law's going to make the mole. And I was like, really? Oh, that's good. So we can have, you know, two dishes. This lady, you me the mole? Her name is Elva, and I love her to death. Rachel, shout out to you, mija. Te quiero mucho. Dile a tu suegra que la mencioné aquí a mi Elvita que la quiero mucho. Está muy preciosa y que Dios le dé más vida y muchas bendiciones. And she knows that I love her so much. And then she, um, I kept eating her mother, and I was like, Ay, Elva, te aventaste, ser. She said, <laughs> she looked at me real search. Can I give her a I give her one. You want to take some home? And I was like, yeah. She said to her daughter, pack her plate to go. Pack her my plate to go with more. And I'm glad she did. I was embarrassed to get it. Because I said, no, let them take it home. There was a little bit left so they could give the kids more. But then I thought, Rachel's kids don't even like mole. And I said, maybe they left some at home. And then I said, ah, I'm not going to feel bad. So I bought it home. I was just giving me plenty, like for maybe for three servants. So yesterday I moved pong for you guys a little bit of mole and I don't remember what else. Mmm. You guys remember Hispanics back in the day? Every party was mole, rice, beans, and potato salad, and tostadas. You wouldn't dare short tortillas, it was tostadas. And potato salad, potato salad on the side. That went on for so many years. It was so yummy. Mm. We knew it was gonna be a party. You wouldn't ask what was going to be served because we knew that was the the tradition, I guess you could say. Then, like I told you, then came the carne asada. Was it the carne asada? And then came the asado, which is just pork meat and red chili. It's so yummy. I know how to make it real good. Then came the carne asada, and then came the... Uh, 
brisket. Oh, everybody was into brisket. Every party was brisket, brisket, brisket. And then the next thing was discada, which is what I made the other day when you throw all the meats in the... Dude, I can't see. Did they stab him? No, sir. Look at it. He's got blood on his head. Nasty. No, nobody did it. He was just there and someone put him in the bed. Oh, wow. So I guess it's that right. This is like an episode thing that what's it called again? Bad girls? Good girls. Good girls, I'm sorry. Looks like a good show. So once in a while when somebody makes mole for a party, you're like, oh I miss that mole. I like mole a lot. But I hardly don't make it. But I did buy a jar this month and I was gonna say uh, one of these Sundays at church, I went out. I had bought a lot of chicken. Well, this is the chicken that I am. I had bought a lot of chicken because I wanted to make mole. So when this lady told me last week, I'm going to make mole. I was like, girl. Why did you say girl? I said, I'm Anna. She's my sister in Christ. Lily, she's such a good lady. I hope they're all right. And I hope they don't get COVID. And if they do, I hope they get over it right away and be all right. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna go get that wig there and tell me it goes there and it goes to side. Because, anyways, I think I have three chongos, three, three, uh, ponytail kind, four. And sometimes I'll do my hair like slick it back right here with gel and then hook it on. So it looks like a side ponytail. Or I'll do it all the way down here so it looks like that, like I'm telling you. There was also another wig that I liked there. It was about this short, maybe. And it had rayitos, gold little streaks, and it's a little wavy. And I liked it, and I said, I'm going to get that one. It's kind of exactly like the one that I have that's about up to here, but this one's shorter. Um... Even the hair looks different. Most of the ones that I've been buying lately are half human hair and half synthetic. I don't know if that one is like maybe just synthetic. I don't know because it did look like different. Different color. Different color. Let's get some rice. Rice, rice, baby. Dum, 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 dum. Mm-hmm. Oh, guys, when Vanilla Ice came out, remember? Y'all are probably fucking 20, in your 20s. Oh, my God. We don't got no chicharron in here. Oh, chicharron. Oh, yeah, I was getting my tortillas. And I was telling Julia, oh, I put them in the comal. And lately, I like, I've been liking them, like, hard, hard when you... Not burn them, but just make them real hard. With beaners. I have the beaners, but there's only a little bit of tortillas left, so hopefully we'll buy some these days. Today or tomorrow, hopefully. Um, we're already out of cash, though. was it like we eat a lot of tortillas. I think just me and Julia... But we don't eat them that often anymore. Mac is my mama. Before I used to uh we always ate tortillas. I like to make some homemade. I have my little shit there and my a bag of uh maseca. I should make some. Mmm. Let me tell you Try this, okay, ladies? Or men as well. Mostly everybody likes picadillo, right? You make your picadillo, but make sure you put at least six 
roasted California chiles in there. And then, oh my God, that pumps up the flavor so much. Like, I love cooking with chile verde, California. In some places, they call it chile chilaca. That's funny. That's a funny word. Um, chilaca, yeah. I have always have chile chilaca in my freezer. Freezer! Like, today, I'm eating this, right? But I put out a pack of pork chops, and then I had bought my Julia some skinless chicken breast. Just, like, strips. And so when she came down right now, when I was doing my stuff, she's like, oh, you're going to make that? And I said, yeah. How do you want me to make it? She's like, whatever. And I said, do you want me just to fry them and just salt and pepper? Salt and pepper here. Or maybe you can put them in the air fryer and we can even like, uh, panisarlas if you want to bread them. No, All right, we'll see. No problem. The pork chops were on sale. We went to the grocery the last time. Mm. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. That's going to look ugly. <laughs> you look kind of stupid. Mm hmm. Get out, get out. See, this is supposed to have the part in the middle. But I like to wear it to the side like this. I think it looks my, makes my face look a little bit better. Maybe y'all don't think I'm pretty, but I think when once I put on my makeup and my wigs, I think I look 100% better. So it makes me feel pretty. But not when it's going back and... Then it looks stupid. Damn bad I feel a white chicks going on right here somewhere. White chicks get out there. Look at the lashes that my son that my Julia bought me. Mm. But you know when you have your wig like this, it starts fucking with your lash. That's why I don't like it like that. And I don't like doing this because then you can see my fucking canals right there. My gray hairs. Okay, let's do it. Just guys, pretend I don't have any grays. Pretend this is my hair. <laughs> Anyways, I right, guys, I've been going through some bullshit for some bad stuff for about a week, and then on top of that, I got my foot thing, and oh, oh, oh. but it's true the saying: when it rains, it pours, and the devil's attacking because the devil is alive. I hope my friend Erica Martinez, Bird Martinez, someday looks at my at my videos. Shout out to you, my amor. We love you. We love you and look. I'm finna show you something, Bird. Bird motherfucking Martinez, bitch. Your little girls know when I bought the mame. Hmm. I'm keeping this forever. I thought it was so beautiful. Man. Check this out, guys. Check this out, baby. Oh, I don't own the rights to that, so. Mellow my niece. Look at this. So they went and made these guares. But actually, right here, they put a stamp on it that says our, the name of our church. And so you could pass them out, like flyers or, or like, if you ever, us, oh, well, members of my church. And we ever get the opportunity to bump into somebody, we're talking to somebody, and they look sad or whatever, and we start saying, do you go to church? Oh, well, I have this church, blah, blah, blah. and then you hand them the little thing. God has chosen me, has uh, given me that little gift that I know when and with who to talk to. Now, I don't know Bible verses, and I'm not perfect, nor am I close to it at all. And I had a very shady past. I don't anymore. A year and a half that I'm 
I'm a good girl. Okay. But God has helped me uh, put people in my path that need God or that need help or whatever. And I'm able to talk to them at the right moment. I don't know how God does it, but... And these people go and visit us, and I love it. And they know, and all my, my church members know that I'm the one that brings the most people. I invite a lot of people. Um, if they stay, they stay, and if they don't, they don't, or they'll be coming, you know, one Sunday or another, so, like that. But I love that about me. Hmm. Even with my foul mouth and everything, you know, I've been praying for it. God to take that away from me? It will. I took men out of my life. I took the urges out of my life. Mmm. Delante de Dios que andan like, the urges for sex or whatever are not there. I'm not gonna lie, once in a while I miss kissing. You know what I miss? I did a lot, like with my hubby and with my... Best boy, real boyfriend that was with me for about four years. Just laying in bed watching movies. Not doing, you know what? Just laying there and just kicking back and watching movies. I love that so much. Cuddling. ¿Qué estás comiendo, mami? Pollito. Mole. She lives right here. She's sitting on her throne, on her throne chair. Remember, I told you I have a chair that's so beautiful, looks like a throne. Cuánto me costó, mami? I think like one twenty. I got it at this used place, but when I saw it, I fell in love with it. I said, oh "My God, it looks like a fucking throne! Oh my God!" And I was like, "Never did I think I was gonna have it." And uh. The dude from that store, because I'd been there before. I forgot his name, and I haven't gone back in a long time. And I probably won't, because it's really far on the east side. Um, it just was missing the leg. One of the legs was on there, on top of the chair itself. The leg that it did have, in other words, so you took it off and had it on the... So I guess if you wanted it and you wanted it to look badass, you had to, you know, go find a carpenter or whatever to make a make when you set it like it. You can put them under. It looks ghetto, but you can't see it. But since I never did go and make that other leg, a friend of mine have uh, three little uh, wood chits. Going together and spray paint them for me, dark, dark brown, like the way this. So you can't even tell. But when you're pouring ghetto, sometimes you got your bed and your sofas up on bricks. <laughs> I, we did that when we were little. Or on fucking milk crates. <laughs> Girl, let me tell you. So we would go on back. And we would steal a bunch of milk crates to put shit up. I ain't lying right now. I have a beautiful buffet and a big tea. And it's sitting on top of milk crates. But I covered it with a nice little black blanket or whatever you want to call it. A blank piece of material. So it doesn't look bad. <laughs> but if you look under that material, it's milk crates. I mean, if you never did... Si nunca usaste cajas de leche para arreglar algo en tu casa, no tuviste esa infancia. Que no, no eres, no eres hispana. O mexicana o gelo. It's okay. But you know what I feel good about? Everything that I have in this home. I mean, then I bought it. Or, or given, or you know, given to me. Everything. And it's not that bad in here. 
I mean, nice little table, nice little couch. My throne is beautiful. My TV and my buffet are beautiful. A lot of ladies, younger ladies than me, hardly don't put up um, pictures on the walls and frames and shit. I have right here the gigantic lion. And then I have a big picture of my mom and dad in their wedding. And then under that is mine and my husband's wedding picture. And then over there, on top where I have the TV, I have the two, uh, the beautiful Indian that's carrying his Indian girlfriend. I had a big one, guys, and, and I dated this guy in Juarez, and we broke up, and all my shit stayed over there. A lot of my shit stayed over there. Um, I was talking to this friend of mine. No, I used to date him. And I was talking to him last night on a video chat, and I was telling him, remember, remember when it, the first day that I met him? He came over and we were, we were going to sit outside on, on my porch and, and drink and stuff. And then I guess my girls were kind of mad because I was going to have a guy there. Well, well, we were outside though. They, or they felt funny. So I think it was Julia. She came out and said, Mom, we're hungry. Because they knew I had money. And she knew I was going to say something to impress this guy. Go ahead and order some pizza hut me and get some wings, whatever you want. Take what it's like. Cuando ve el Gilbert. Sorry. The first time that he went over. Well, anyways, I was telling him that uh, we ate pizza outside, we ate wings, we were listening to music, and we were drinking, and he was just so cool. So cool. He's a cool guy. And then, we, uh, so when the pizza came, we ate outside, being suave. And then I think he wanted to use the bathroom, so I let him go to the bathroom inside. And then I remembered that I had a, a, ma a man's black leather jacket. And I said, mmm, le queda este papito. And I got it on and I said, hey, fulano, I said, do you like this? And he said, yeah, it's nice. Are you selling it or what? And I said, no, try it on. I said, no, I didn't say no. I just said, try it on. And he fit him and he looked hot. And he said, hey, how much you want for it? And I said, I'm giving it to you. Really? And I was like, yeah, yeah, you can have it. Oh my God, thank you. And, and then we were talking about that. He goes, I still have that jacket. And I said, oh, that's so cute. I look really nice on him. And he's a leather kind of guy. He, went, he rides a motorcycle. He has a motorcycle. So he looks really sharp in it. Ellie's right here. Right now, Julia shows me a picture of a pug and she goes, Mom, isn't this one's face more squished in? Yeah. The face was so squished in her eyes were like that. <laughs> you know, boy. What was it on that girl? You don't know? Yeah, I'm your mood. Yeah, mama. He's right here. Oh, what do you want? She can, she can do it. She can do it. She's embarrassed to mukbang. <laughs> there, she mukbang with me. With grandma. The kids say that I'm the grandma, so I'm the grandma. And she sleeps with me. We put her as my service dog. So she, you know how a lot of places you go to live or you rent a house or you rent an apartment and it says no pets allowed, you little motherfucker. But then you go to the doctor and get a letter that says that uh, you need it for emotional support, support or whatever. And then you bring it to them and, and you tell them, here little motherfucker. And they have to approve it. So you get to have your doggy style there. In fact, if I wanted to, I could get another fucking dog. But, hmm. We have a hard time with Ellie. Mm. Mm. 
And even though we took her to a training class at, at PetSmart while Julia paid for it, she did learn things like sit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Show one more check. And check and do it. Okay, guys, I better let you go in a little bit. One more minute, two more minutes. Right now, I have the hair like that with the broche. And I'm starting to take it off. Just leave it like that. Look like a fucking gremlin. Huh? As it is. As it is, I'm kind of funny looking. No. But then this was gonna look stupid, you know. So I think like, oh. well, I had it like that, but it looks like a little crown. Oh, I'm a princess. No, I'm a queen. Cause I have my throne there. I'm a queen, you little fuckers. Hail the queen. Hail the queen. Hail Mary. Watch what the hail when it hails. We didn't even get any hail this year, did we? I mean, this last year, did we get any hail? Last year, everything was flooding. Last year, uh, and the year before, I think, always like um, February, March, April, there's always rain, remember? The other day was cloudy. I'm going to let you guys go because it's already going to stop. Stop. Collaborate and listen. Ice, ice, baby. So it popped out of my hand and it flew over here and, and it sounded really loud. And Julia was like, what's that? Okay, oh, guys, I know what she wants to say. Oh, you little fucker. What happened? You thought I had long hair? Well, no, I don't. I only have three hairs. All right, guys, I know what she Bye-bye.